Hello there, my good friends of YouTube. Oh, hold on a minute. That's it. Now, this is a 75 kV X ray transformer, and I've removed the iron core and I've fitted it with some ferrite core. You can see where this is going, can't you? This is the original ferrite, ferrite uh, iron core just here, as you can see. Just focus up. As you can see, come on, silly phone. As you can see, iron core. Very easily to uh, to actually take out of it. Actually, it was quite easy. All that I had to do was um, just undo these bands, and uh, it slid out. This is the primary core. That's um, just some. This is just a an earthen for the earthen strap. Uh, to take away any corona and you can, as you can see the actual primer is just inside there just a load of windings of this thick primary wire that's what was written on it it basically looked like that one just there this is another one this is a 50 kV one which could quite easily be run from a ferrite could even try that big beast. I've got big enough ferrites. <laughs> That's 120 kV that one. So yeah. So uh, what I've done then, I've um, I've stuck some wires on the old primary just there, and uh, it's going through this ZVS driver, and that's my amp meter, and this is the power supply. You've all seen this one before. Variable output. And uh, what I'm going to do as well with this is I'm going to get one of these and one of these and stick them into a project box so that I can just basically collect, connect anything up to it and get a reading of the voltage and the uh, the current. So I've got one there actually, just there for the variac. <clears throat> Of course, I'm going to stop rambling and I'm going to show you this working. So, at that, I'm drawing about just uh, and about two amps, I'm drawing on that one. But I've not turned the power supply up yet. But isn't that working well? So the output of it is like it's actually like a flyback. Very hot arcs. It's 24 volts. Unbelievable. <laughs> That's about ten volts. So as you can see guys, oh, let's just disconnect that there, those hot arcs are very very hot, um, prime is not even, prime is not hot, just slightly a bit more than room temperature, but uh, yeah this is a 75 kV x-ray transformer and all I have done guys is removed the iron core and uh, put two um, U-shape ferrite cores into it. 
and it perfectly fits just like the iron core and it works really really well I think I'm the first to do that guys on here on uh, good old YouTube so yeah I'm going to show that again I always say that don't I of course I'll show it again yeah I've got a ferrite there on the uh, a ferrite a neon bulb there on the capacitors guys just to take anyway black spikes I need to pump some more I need to pump some more voltage into this I think. Get it on the old variac. Oh, drawing a bit too many amps then. Drawing twenty amps then. Can't believe how well that runs. Unbelievable. Let's see if I smell anything. No, I can't smell anything, nothing burning or anything, so obviously there's no actual corona inside of there. There's been no corona build up inside there, so it looks like it's working pretty well. That is fantastic. I do believe I'm going to have to build another one of those. I do like that. Get that thing in oil. Whew. Only thing is, though, when you get them in oil, they're pretty messy and it, it's mucking about and you get oil everywhere. And it's nice to actually have these things on the side looking like looking like that, looking so cool. I mean, compared to a Stanley blade, this is a Stanley knife, what we call in the UK. And it's made by Stanley. But uh, you can see the size of this thing. Quite big. She's a beast. Thanks once again, guys, for watching. Look after yourselves, be safe, and we'll speak again.